Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm um, excited to kick off the whole community placing. We're uh, set designated times to play Halo, uh, any Halo. But if we're going to play Halo 2, we're going to need to show you how to set up Xbox Connect. Now, there might be various tutorials on the internet. Um, I'm going to provide you guys with one myself. I have done one in the past on Alex's main channel. Uh, it's still there if you want to take a look at that one, although it is in two parts because that's before he had a uh, 15-minute plus upload. So this tutorial is going to assume you know basic networking and stuff like that because it's kind of impossible to cover all of it and it would just take way too long. So if you're completely illiterate in form of networking or computer basics, uh, you might struggle a bit or a lot. Uh, I am going to assume you know some stuff. So I'll try to do the best I can when explaining it. And one thing I know that I didn't mention uh, during the main portion is whatever game you're setting up, preferably it's Halo 1 or Halo 2, as this tutorial is kind of multi-purpose, either for our community plays or for just getting Xbox Connect up and running, I believe they also claim it supports PSP. Um, but for instance, Halo 2, you're going to need to go to the System Link lobby and, and get into the area where you're searching for a game in order for Xbox Connect to find your console. So when I'm going through the portion of uh, Xbox Connect finding your console, make sure that uh, whatever game you're playing is in the System Link lobby searching for a game. That's uh, how it'll find you. Uh, other miscellaneous things, uh, please do note that Xbox Connect supports a certain amount of games and they haven't been active in development which means that the de development team's pretty much dead. I've been trying to get a hold of them, and that was probably six months ago, and I'm going to try again and hopefully partner with them to get them involved again in, in developing Xbox Connect and hopefully make it easier to use. But as for right now, it seems to work fine with Windows 8, although I've noticed some of the adapter settings are kind of confusing and I was having a bit of trouble. It may work better underneath Windows 7. Um, I had the easiest time on Windows XP, which is what I... Um, showed it on. Um, the Xbox Connect computer that I was, or the computer I was actually showing it on is another computer in my house that I use just for Xbox Connect, and that might be ideal for you. Because you can host it on any computer you want. Um, you can almost make it like an Xbox Connect server if you wish. But just note that Xbox Connect only supports the games that you see in the list. They also have it on their website, the games that they, they, um, they support. Um, and more recent games like Black Ops 2, I know they don't support like, they don't even support Call of Duty 4. They support Modern Warfare 2, but not Modern Warfare 1. Uh, they do not support Halo 3. They do not sp support Halo 4, Reach. But just check the list of games. If it's not on there, they don't support it. Um, as you need to be able to, you know, click on there and to be able to, you know, it has to be on the list in order for you to, to you know, for it all to work. It's kind of common sense. So please don't ask me what games they support because I'll simply refer you to the video. As uh, on the previous tutorial, I had a lot of people asking me these really simple questions. Also, it works on Xbox 360, and it works on the Xbox original. So it doesn't matter which Xbox you're running on. It doesn't require Xbox Live, as that's the whole point of Xbox Connect. You know, you don't need Xbox Live. Um, all Xbox Connect really is is just a glorified VLAN, virtual LAN, if you know what that is. If you've ever used Tamachi, to, um, it basically makes your system link lobby think it's over the internet, or I shouldn't say over the internet. It makes it think that all the games are local, meaning that everyone's at your house. But it's really just taking your system link lobby and joining it up as if it were local. Again, you, if you don't know what virtual lands are, I suggest you look at them. They're actually pretty cool. Um, other than that, hopefully the tutorial is helpful to you guys. I, as well as the primary portion of setting up Xbox Connect, I also go over internet connection sharing if you happen to be in a specific scenario and I go over port forwarding if you need it, although I didn't. So if you don't need it, you don't, don't even bother. I think the only thing port forwarding is required for is that other players can see your ping and uh, your, your latency. Or, you know, I guess ping and latency are the same. Um, internet connection sharing was the other portion and it's only required if both your devices are wireless. I'll say it again and again and again. Both your Xbox and your laptop or your desktop, or whatever's running Xbox Connect, they both cannot be wireless at the same time. If your Xbox is wireless and your desktop or your laptop is wired, there's an option I go over that um, you check off. It's uh, Mac 11 wireless or something like that. But I show you what to enable if you're in that scenario. But again, both 
the, uh, at most, only one can be wireless. If both are wireless, internet connection sharing can come into use, and I'll and you can look over that. Otherwise, there there probably are plenty of tutorials on the internet that go over internet connection sharing if you need it. Um, otherwise, just ask me a question. If uh, please watch the entire video, as uh, analytics does show me uh, what the uh, what the attention span or um, how long you guys spend on videos. So just make sure you go over everything and ask me if I'm not being cleared up or you know I've I've tried to do my best so. Anyway, guys, hopefully, hopefully this works for you and hope to see you on Xbox Connect. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your internet browser and download Xbox Connect. I'll put a download link in the description, but I'm just kind of going through the uh, general process here of searching for it and navigating through their website. So just go to xbconnect.com. Look for downloads if you're going there manually like I am. And you can download either version. I believe the only difference here is just the appearance of the program. You can either save the downloader uh, to your computer or just run it directly. In either case, it'll work fine. And basically follow the steps I have shown here. It's a relatively simple installer. And then click finish and you're done installing. And obviously accept these two agreements here. Hit OK. That'd be good if you just read this stuff right here, just kind of an overview. And obviously here, you probably don't have an account, so it's best to hit yes and then just fill out your information. I already have an account, so I'm just going to type it in. Fill in my password. Figure to click remember your my password so you don't have to keep filling it out. All right, so here's the fun part. You are going to go to tools, options, and general options. And then check the Mac translation for wet 11 wireless. This is if your Xbox is wireless and your computer is wired. Remember that both your devices cannot be wireless. One has to be wired. So now I'll click fi Tools Find and My Console. And then say a no if it asks you. Sometimes it doesn't. And then it's going to test the adapter. And it should get about to that point, and it should find it. If it just keeps going and going and going, something's wrong. As you can see there, it says console packet and shows my MAC address, so everything's kosher. And obviously from here, you can see the available games on Xbox Connect. Um, obviously right now, the only people on are in Halo 1 and Halo 2. Here's your host screen. There's some information of filling it out. Otherwise, just mess around with the program, and you'll get to know it. It's pretty simple. If you happen to be one of the people that both have your Xbox and your computer wireless, let's say of a laptop, um, you can do something called internet connection sharing, which means you can plug your Xbox into the LAN adapter, or the Ethernet port of your computer, and share your laptop's wireless connection with the uh, to the Ethernet port on your laptop. Uh, so just follow these steps. You're going to want to go to network and sharing. Um, for Windows 8, I'm doing the little uh, Windows Charm search, but uh, under Windows Vista and Windows 7, and when our network and sharing center is going to be underneath the control panel. You're going to want to go to a, uh, change adapter settings. 
and right click on your Wi-Fi adapter. It may not be called Wi-Fi, but it should be pretty obvious. So right click in it properties and then go to the sharing tab and then check the little box, allow other network users to connect to this computer's internet connection. If it gives you an option with a drop down box, make sure to select the correct adapter as for instance, I have two ethernet ports on my computer. You may need to uh, restart your Xbox um, if this isn't working correctly because I've noticed that uh, the IP address doesn't change um, from a previous network, say. So if it's not working, just restart your Xbox. In the event that you need to port forward, you'll need to know the address of your computer and your router, otherwise known as your default gateway. To figure this out, just follow along with the video. Um, in various versions of Windows, it'll be a little bit different. Uh, Windows 8, you can right-click uh, the bottom left corner and hit Run. Otherwise, it'd be your Start menu, and then it'd be click Run. You're going to type in CMD or Command. Hit OK. And then you're going to type in IPCONFG uh, space forward slash all and hit Enter. There are a couple other ways to find out what your IP address is, but this honestly is the quickest. And then you're going to look for your IP version 4 address or just IP address underneath the right adapter. And then you're also going to see default gateway. So I see it's my address is 1.75 and my router's address is 1.1. So you're going to go open up your uh, internet browser, whatever it is. Uh, for instance, I just chose Internet Explorer. So I type in 192.168.1.1. Hopefully you know your, uh, your login information there. And then obviously all these routers are different, but the whole point is you're going to want to find out where port forwarding is. Under, for me, it's underneath advanced settings, WAN, and then the virtual server and port forwarding uh, tab. So then simply here, just fill out a service name. It can be whatever you want. I called it something re relatable, uh, Xbox Connect. The port is going to be 8602. And then I'm going to choose the IP address of my computer. And here it gives me a nice little drop down box. Again, it could be different for you. So for me, mine is 1.75. And I'm going to fill out the same port here 8602. And the protocol is TCP and UDP, or both. And then just make sure for me, I've hit the plus sign and I have to hit apply.